Ollie, I didn't ask you here, did I? If you take enough joy, sometimes one forgets the silliest things. People in town are getting a tad bit skinny. I think they're starving to death. And they're painting the streets in fucking rainbows. Have you not noticed? Have you had your joy, Ollie? Why are you all wearing those ridiculous new masks? You should get one. They shape your face into a smile. And when you smile, you can't help being happy. You were kind to me, even when I got confused. I had no one else to turn to. Oh, Ollie. We have to tell people. They need to know the truth. No, Ollie. People do not need to know the truth. Truth is the enemy of happiness. Isn't that the decision we all made? Oh. But you know the truth, don't you? There's not a thing I can tell you that you don't already know. Is there? No. It's better not to know. You, of all people, should understand that. I'm truly sorry about this, Miss Bing. Is this some sort of silly prank? When I left the village, I thought you people knew what you were doing. Turns out, well, I've been keeping to myself. I have a pillbox in my kitchen. Would you mind terribly bringing me my joy? Oh, no, I can't. Please, Ollie. You were never cruel. I'm a soldier, ma'am. They teach you to be cruel. I need to see the executive committee. They won't listen. You'll only upset them, and then they'll take more joy and forget. They don't want the whole truth. No one wants the whole truth. You know what, Miss Bing? I'll come back. I'll come back when you're in your right mind. No! You can't, please. I I'll take you to the executive committee. I'll walk you there. Anything. Just please give me my joy. I need my joy. Why won't you give me my joy? Sure, I'll go get it for you right away. Now, where would a woman stash her joy? I'm afraid joy is after my time. Here we go. She certainly hates to be off her joy, doesn't she? You're not going to give it to her.
This is what you were looking for, wasn't it? I'm afraid I can't let you have it. Why the fuck are you doing this? You evil downer bastard! I am gonna kill you! I am going to kill you! Sorry, I need my words to stick in your head instead of flying right out the other ear. I've got to answer the blower. People depend on my decisions. She's got her own pneumatic. I better answer it. Who the hell is Clive Birthwhistle? You should find out if she likes him or not. You can't trust her, of course. Maybe there's a letter or something somewhere. They're going to need an answer right away. You don't know how critical my answers are. Ooh, I don't think she likes him very much. Okay, Mr. Birthwhistle, you can have as big an office as you like. Um, that doesn't sound like Miss Bing, does it? Off you go. This is all some clever joke, isn't it? <laughs> It's terribly funny, Ollie. Let's just call this a prank, and you can untie me now. Please. Miss Bing? Is everything all right? Uh, I'm sorry, but I shall have to enter the premises. Who's that? Why don't you go find out? If you're going to talk to that Bobby, you can't do it looking like Ollie Starkey. Who the hell am I supposed to look like then? King Edward? Maybe there's a maid's uniform in the house somewhere. Constable, everything's perfectly all right. We'll just see about that. Oh. Well, that's my regular off-site executive committee meeting. Won't they be surprised to find you've tied me up? What unconvincing lie are you going to try to fob them off with? You better answer it. What do I say? Tell them you're the general and the meeting's been postponed. Ollie, she's going to scream if you don't gag her. Get away! Hello, it's Beatrice Dalrymple. From the executive committee? I'm so sorry. Something's come up. Please come back tomorrow. I, is that General Bing? Yeah, I haven't got time to chit-chat. We're trying to save the world. All right. Tomorrow, then. Tomorrow, I guess. I hope Miss Bing didn't sneak off while I wasn't looking. Take the key and lock her up. Lock her up. Lock her up, take the key, and lock her up, my fair lady. I brought some food. I made them sing, Ollie, so they wouldn't be afraid. But then they had to get on the train. Do you remember how they screamed? Aye, I remember. All except my daughter. Your daughter? Aye, Margaret. Because she was dead. You've got to eat. I'll throw it right back up. What was it your dad fed you when you were sick and couldn't eat anything else? <laughs> Coffee yogurt. I'll bring some. Give me my joy! <laughs> Why won't you give me my joy? I'll get you that coffee yoghurt. <laughs> Why won't you give me my joy? Why won't you give me my joy? <laughs> All right, coffee yoghurt. 
What is yoghurt exactly? It's fermented milk. Like cheese, only it doesn't curdle. So I just need some old milk and some coffee. And probably some sugar to make the medicine go down. I would drop some stuff, laddie. So, she's got coffee, milk. Well, that's coffee yoghurt a la Starkey. <laughs> I hope she's not particular. Everything is quite all right. Sleepy tight. Nighty-night, everything's tucked out of sight, my fair lady. I think you'd better give her that yoghurt. This is awful. You've ruined it. Oh, Father, why have you forsaken me? <laughs> I didn't know what else to do. Oh, that will be the gardeners. Perhaps you can suggest some lovely colour combinations. I think you better answer that. I didn't realise she was quite this popular. Ollie, she's going to scream if you don't gag her. Get away from... So who am I pretending to be? You could always pretend to be the maid. Who is it? It's Brown, the gardener. Could you get Miss Bing? I'm sorry, she's very busy. You should have said that she's out. 
She's very busy being out. I'll leave it with you then. Would you uh, open up, please? I haven't got time to shave. Well, wrap something around your face. And I'm a fat, ugly Scotsman. Not all maids are thin, pretty, and French. You've got all the bloody answers, haven't you? Just a minute! You better make sure she's out of sight. So, should I stick her in a closet somewhere? I'm afraid so. Here's an accounting of all the gardening supplies. She could pay me next week. Cheerio. I'll see that she gets it. There are acts of heroism you never get a medal for, and they're some of the bravest. <laughs> I need air! Open the door! I'm suffocating! <laughs> I think you'd better let her out. No, you may not just leave her in there for a bit. I didn't say a word. Well, that's a good look for you. Suits you. You might want to shave a bit. Christ almighty, can't these people think for themselves? You must let me answer my messages. They won't know what to do on their own. I promise I won't put in any secret cries for help. I just need to answer. Who the hell is Prudence Holmes? You really ought to get out more, Ollie. bloody draws us. <clears throat> I've never even heard of Prudence Holmes. Why Doesn't don't you ask someone right else? Direction. You really ought to think things I did think it through. Bloody Rosas can go hang Thank themselves. You, I'm not giving up, dear Prudence, wherever she is. Nice to you. Why would you do this to me? This thing? Everything all right? Uh, I'm sorry. But I shall have to enter the premises. Who's that? Why don't you go find out? Come in, Constable. Everything's perfectly all right. We'll just see about that. <laughs> have you at least got a cigarette? They'll kill you, you know. Whoever told you that? Last time I managed to dig some out of the rubble, a house collapsed on me. <laughs> I nearly died. Give me some joy! I need my joy! You'll feel better soon. Ish, I think. Miss Bing? Oh, Miss Bing? It's Constable Naismith. You're busier than a one-legged man at an arse-kicking contest, aren't you? You won't fool the bobbies. They'll expect their sandwiches. I think he's getting upset. Ollie, you better talk to him. Oh, sorry, Constable. Miss Bing is not here. Well, if you don't mind, Mom, I'll make my own determination as to her localization. No, come right in. Miss Bing, you're wrapped. You better get Miss oh. Bing back to the closet. The children won't stop screaming. You have to talk to them. Then they settle down for a bit. Are you mad? <laughs> Aye. We could have saved them, you know. The tanks were made of papier-mâché. 
that Larty Hastings tore a hole in one of them. What could that possibly matter now? I suppose it doesn't. Except that's just the first lie. Then comes the victory that wasn't, and then the happy pills, and the Simon Says, because the kids are all gone. You can paint loaves of bread on the shop windows all you like, but if people don't wake up, we're all going to starve to death. Please, give me my joy. Oh, I need you here with me, ma'am. Not off in Neverland with Wendy and Peter. <sighs> all right. The tanks were paper mache. The children didn't have to get on the train. Poor Margaret Worthing didn't have to die. Nay, eh, she didn't. We go to City Hall, back entrance. There's a private elevator. The code is 0126. The date of the victory. I'll write you a letter of transit. It won't be enough. People won't face facts. Not until we take their joy. That's what we have to do, Ollie. And when we do that, they'll murder each other in the street. Then why would you help me? There hasn't been a baby born in Wellington Wells in 17 years. We don't talk about that. I'd forgotten that. Let's go see the executive committee. Oh! oh. People have to know. In an hour, you horrible little man. I won't even know you exist. You have to find the letters of transit. I can't stay here. Victoria's probably run to the police already. Then hurry! Find them! <laughs> <laughs> 